sigues viva y tu vida sin mí es el crimen perfecto. Hello, good morning everybody. I'm Blas Rivera. Here we are broadcasting from Santa Teresa, New Rio de Janeiro, very close to Corcovado. This is our intention of an English speaking podcast. Its name, Y Nunca Más Volvió, and Never Returned. Today we'll have sadness into music form, a sounding tear, it smells like a crying cello. All this deep melancholy started one Sunday of November 2015, in the evening. I was spending the weekend in my friend's house, João, in Juiz de Fora, Brazil. After a whole day thinking of her and waiting for news, nothing. In the night I couldn't stand anymore. I felt alone, so sad, abandoned, my soul was freezing and, as I do not cry, I started to scribble some notes, just a few, on João's piano. An analgesic piano, I would say, for that much pain. I was as lost as the little and stubborn C-sharp I shoot in the middle of that minor chord, like a bare claw on his chest. She had given me so much, so many happy encounters full of music. I had looked at you so deeply at the square. You were so present, so much love dripping all over. It was so hard to get close to you and At the same time, you were by my side. So huge, so beloved, but also belonging to the others. And now, far away, so far. Late night, I played the piano pouring, groaning it in G minor. I remember myself listening to you with so much passion. And now, 88 black and white little tears splashed my hands. My chest was broken in three by four in a waltz tempo, and the pedals helped me to breathe. Okay, later, another Sunday, one week after, and already in Rio, we were rehearsing at my friend's David's house, the English cellist. We make a break, and David goes to the kitchen to prepare his traditional splendid coffee with whiskey and leaves me alone by myself and wow. David's piano looks at me in his 440 way and, of course, she comes again back to my head and, as I do not cry, I start once again to, to throw my suffering on the keyboard. At this time, the sufferings already had tempo, key and title. Till you return. Immediately, David comes back from the kitchen without the coffee and, interrupting me, says, What a beautiful music! I like it very much. Is it yours? Let's play it. No, I said to him, no way. This song is only mine, for my own pain. Whoever plays it, his soul melts. David, if you play it, someone will leave you. You will be abandoned. He insisted. He tried to give me such a lecture that I didn't even understand, but at the end, he brought the coffee, this time with quiet whiskey, looked straight at me with that assassin dicking face and convinced me. Well, here we are, playing Till You Return. <laughs> This sounds crazy within a podcast named Till You Return, but to tell you the truth, sometimes she comes back. Maybe I don't come back because I have never left, once she told me. And I guess it's true. There's a precious curiosity in this music. David calls it, till you returned. But me, I call it, hasta que vuelvas. 
that makes me think that perhaps pain, passion, insults, fury, all feelings that come from the very deep of your body and soul have to be pronounced in your own language. Our lingua mater, the one we learned in our childhood yard. So here you go. Hasta que vuelvas for me. And from David Chu up in the Yorkshire Highlands till you return. Nobody will abandon you after this last chord. 